Gaming Bolt presents 14 games similar to Monster Hunter World. Want to get more Monster Hunter World action, but too stubborn to experience the excellent handheld editions like Monster Hunter Generations and Double Cross? Take heed, for there are similar games out there that let you hunt monsters. The differences from Monster Hunter World range from minor to major, but at the end of the day, here are 14 games that let you hunt down your foes. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Killing monsters is Geralt's calling, and while The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt it didn't have dragons or other monsters on the scale of previous games, with some DLC exceptions, there were still a number of beasts to fell. The creepy leshens, hulking fiends, wraiths, wyverns, and much more await your blade. Fair warning though, the combat isn't nearly as compelling as Monster Hunter. You can't mount monsters, and much of the preparation falls to blade oils, potions, and skills. It's still fun though, and the various side quests feel unique and interesting. Dauntless Pretty much the free-to-play equivalent of Monster Hunter, Dauntless is fairly distinct in its own ways. The animated art style is more Disney-like than realistic, and there's less emphasis on investigating clues to a monster's whereabouts. You pretty much go to an area, hunt down the behemoth in question, harvest its parts, and make better gear. Combat itself is less nuanced for sure, but the free-to-play appeal, when it finally releases that is, favors those who want to try out a hunting game for the first time. Horizon Zero Dawn Guerrilla Games' Horizon Zero Dawn boasts a large open world and Witcher-like side quests along with human foes to defeat. That being said, the various machines borrow traits from animals as they tower above you like Bellowbacks and Thunderjaws. Aloy's main weapon is the bow, as she breaks off machine parts, uses their weapons against them, employs various elements, and relies on rope casters, explosives, traps, and whatnot to succeed. It's a good alternative to Monster Hunter World, especially if you're looking for a stronger narrative. Soulsborne series Are you tired of hearing how Monster Hunter World is like Dark Souls but with Jurassic Park thrown in? Though the Souls series has been around for a while, it's taken significant inspiration from Monster Hunter's combat. That being said, the mechanics of stamina management, memorizing enemy patterns, and exploiting their weaknesses, whether it's Bloodborne or Dark Souls, have evolved in their own right. Plus, there's the appeal of lore and the environmental storytelling that ties into it. Tokiden 2 With its feudal Japan trappings and some fantasy thrown in, Tokiden 2 expands on its predecessor with improved visuals and a more open world. Along with multiple weapon types and wailing on demons for several minutes at a time, the main gameplay hook is the demon hand. You can quickly grapple onto demons and even hack off limbs. It's distinctly more arcadey, but what else would you expect from Koei Tecmo? Neo More Souls-like than Monster Hunter, Team Ninja's Neo sees players tackling larger-than-life beasts. These range from the Electric New to Poison-Emitting Great Centipede to the Vicious White Tiger. The distinctly faster combat also has human foes to defeat, along with more weapon selection, leverages a Diablo-style rarity system for its loot, and Feudal Japan as its setting definitely worth looking into if you want to scratch that close combat itch. Shadow of the Colossus Shadow of the Colossus isn't quite Monster Hunter-esque in the sense that it's not pure hack and slash, however the battles with the Colossi, trying to find and strike their weak points to maximum effect, certainly echo a few Monster Hunter traits. The adventuring and minimalistic storytelling will also draw in players who are curious about the world and the actions of its hero Wander. Soul Sacrifice Soul Sacrifice features a number of unique concepts, like sacrificing party members, enemies, and body parts for different benefits. For instance, sacrifice a part of your body that's taken too much damage, and you can cast a powerful spell, though you'll gain a debuff in return. Allies and enemies can also be saved for the purposes of bringing someone back into the fight or restoring health, respectively. The Monster Hunter comparison comes in with the ability to break off parts of bosses and four-player co-op, but that's pretty much it. Lost Planet Extreme Condition Okay, we know what you're thinking. Yes, Lost Planet is a third-person shooter, and no, you don't really track monsters, but the monsters, or aliens, called Acrid, are huge and overbearing in their own right, requiring precise shooting and vital suits, aka mechs, to defeat them. The harsh environmental conditions pose an additional challenge, necessitating the need for data posts and defeating foes. Evolve 
More of an asymmetrical multiplayer game where one player can control the monster, Evolve shares a few surprising similarities to Monster Hunter. The monster, of which there are seven, must be tracked and can evolve into different forms with more potent abilities. Mobile arenas must be deployed to keep the monster detained, and the team of hunters work together to either kill the monster or protect an objective. Evolve had a lot of promise and saw a small resurgence with its free-to-play Stage 2 version. Sadly, it's now left by the wayside. Vindictus Free-to-play MMO Vindictus is distinctly more combo-heavy with a variety of classes. You'll embark on quests, enchant your weapons, which have a chance of breaking at higher levels because logic, and pretty much level up as per normal. The only real similarities to Monster Hunter are the raids and boss battles with enormous fiends. Final Fantasy Explorers Released for the Nintendo 3DS in 2016, Final Fantasy Explorers takes the monster hunting genre into the game's crystal-filled universe. There are jobs to master, and it's possible to capture and recruit monsters for battle. The ability to mutate different spells and skills also adds variety, but the overall customization and mechanics of fights aren't as complex as Monster Hunter Generations or Double Cross, much less Monster Hunter World. Still, as a light introduction to the genre on the 3DS, it's a decent proposition. Hunt Showdown The hunt in Hunt Showdown is pretty much as you'd expect. Choosing a character, customizing their loadout, and gathering various leads on the horrific monsters lurking within the swamps of Louisiana. After you kill said bounty, while dealing with other monstrosities along the way, you'll become a target for other players competing for the same prize. Though Hunt Showdown is far from perfect, and actually a first-person shooter rather than a third-person hack-and-slash game, it still has potential in its early access stage. Freedom Wars Released for the PlayStation Vita in 2014, Freedom Wars puts an interesting twist on the hunting formula. It's set in the year 102,014, and the player is judged guilty right from birth in a world of heavy surveillance, overpopulation, and mechanized creatures called abductors. Using various weapons and thorns to drag the abductors down, the player must work off their sentence and ultimately discover the reason for existence. There's an interesting competitive element as well as players battle other teams competing to fight the abductors. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.